today's video. Today's video kind of has a bit of a wider shot and I'm also in my pajamas so please feel free to get into your pajamas. And I also, for the first time in one of my videos, have my hair natural, wee wavy. I don't like it at all though, so I apologize. But today's video, I'm going to be doing my Bible readings that I do quite often. I always do a little disclaimer before the video, and I say that if you do not feel comfortable watching this video or listening to this topic, then please click away. No hard feelings. I respect recently finished reading the Gospels, all the Gospels on my own, and I am now starting to read Acts. I'm actually not too far into them, but I thought I would start off where I personally left. from those who entered the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, groans, and fixing his eyes on him. With John, Peter said, Look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have what I do have I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately Peter saw it. He responded to the mock to the people, men of Israel. Why do you marvel at this? Or why look so intently at us? As the by our own power or godliness we had made this man walk. You delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. You denied the Holy One and the just, and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God raised from the dead, of which we are witnesses. And his name through faith, and his name has made this man strong, whom you see given him this perfect soundness in the presence 
absence of you all. Yet now, brethren, I know that you did it in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But those things which God foretold by the mouth of all his prophets, that the Christ would suffer, he has thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send Jesus Christ, who was preached to you before, whom heaven must receive into God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world begun. For Moses truly said to the Father, There the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. Him you shall hear in all things whatever says to you, and it shall be that every soul who will not hear that prophet shall be utterly destroyed from the among. The Lord your God will praise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. Him you shall hear in all things, whatever he says to you, and it shall be that every soul who will not hear that prophet shall be utterly destroyed from among the people. Yes, and all the prophets from Samuel, and those who follow, as many as have spoken, have also foretold these days. You are sons of the prophets, and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, to Abraham, and in your seed all the families of the earth shall be blessed. You first God, having raised up his servant Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from your iniquities. Peter and John arrested, as they spoke to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them, being greatly disturbed that they taught the preached in Jesus the resurrection from the dead, and they laid hands on them, and put them in custody, until the next day, for it was already coming, evening. However, many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of men came to be about five thousand, addressing the Sanhedrin. It came to pass on the next day that their rulers, elders, and scribes, as well as Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the people of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power? name of you done this. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he has been made well, let it be known to you all of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by the builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. I do
did move the light because I feel like maybe it's a little less weird looking. I hope that's okay. The name of Jesus forbidden. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go outside of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? Or indeed, that a notable miracle has become, has been done through them is evident. And to all who dwell in Jerusalem, we cannot deny it. And so that it spreads no further among the people, let us suffer, sufferly. From now on, they speak to no man in this name. So they called them and commanded them speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said to them, Whether it is right in the name of God to listen to you, or than to God you judge. For we cannot but speak the things which have been seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, no way of punishing them because of all the people since they all glorified God for what had been done for the man was over 40 years prayer for boldness and being let go they went to their own companions and reported that all the chief priests and elders had said to them so when they heard that they raised their voice to God with one accord Lord, you are God, who made heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David have said, Why did the nations rage and the people plot vain things? The, th the kings of earth took their stand, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord. Truly against your early ser servant, Jesus, whom you anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together to do whatever your hand and your purpose determined before to be done. Truly against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. Whatever your hand and your purpose determined before to be done. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. By stretching out your hand to heal and that sign Wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together were shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke to the word of God with boldness. Thank you to all of you for sitting through this video and listening means a lot to me that you guys like these videos. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Always remember that you are loved and that you are going through so many things. They're okay that you're going to make through. I mean, you're going to get through. You're gonna get through going to come out on the better side. I want you to know that you are loved and you are beautiful and you deserve
night.